Uh, it's great. It's very cold. You know? <laughs> it's very, very cold. Uh, no, it's great. I mean, we've, we've not really been to Korea too many times, you know. This, like, like I said, this is the third time. Um, you know, from my memories of the last time being in Korea, the crowds were very, very good. And, uh, and yeah, and it's, it's obviously a pleasure to be back. This is our first concert of 2010. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's great, great to be back. The, the Korean fans were um, particularly energetic. They, yeah, they were, I remember them being just uh, really, really loud, singing a lot, very, very loudly, screaming. You know, like waving their hands in the air and jumping up and down, so like very, very energetic. Uh, and for us to play on stage and see that kind of crowd, it's amazing because it makes us perform in, in a more energetic way as well, which again, you know, the crowd likes as well, they like to see that. So, uh, yeah, I've just got great <laughs> memories of the Korean audience being amazing. Is that why you came back? Because the fans are just so great. As, exactly, yeah, oh. yeah, because we were obviously, you know, we were flying over to this part of the world and and we thought we have to come back to Korea because we've had such good gigs here in the past. So it's like I said, you know, it's great to be back and uh, you know, looking forward to more stuff that we'll probably do in the future. Not, not really, no. Uh, Dom does. Dom kind of does press. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he has to yeah, like, warm up before he goes on stage. Or something no, you avoid doing? I, I avoid eating. Oh. Uh, I, I don't eat anything for about three hours before a concert. Because yeah. I, I, I vomit. <laughs> well, yeah, because you get you get you get you get very nervous, and then and obviously when you get nervous, and then you sing, and then you start moving around, it all comes back up. And I, I've I've kind of made that mistake before, where uh, you know I've eaten a big meal before going on stage, and then try to sing, and you know because nervous and, and obviously the energy, you know, you know when you run a lot, sometimes you feel you feel ill. So uh, yeah, I don't really eat anything for you know three three or four hours before a show. Which is a bit of a nightmare today because I've not had breakfast or lunch either, so I won't eat anything until after the concert. So I start shaking in a minute. Oh. <laughs> um, we were cool about it. Like the first time we ever met Stephanie was years ago before the film's first film was even made, and she came to a show. And she was um, we, someone told us that she knocked Harry Potter off number one of her books. <laughs> and we're like, oh, that's cool. And she said she was going to make a film and asked us whether we'd like to give us some music for it. We were like, yeah, cool, because she's really inspired by music, which is, uh, which is really amazing. She writes her books listening to our music, which is a, quite a compliment. So, uh, so we said, yeah, and then we, they took Supermassive Black Hole, but we didn't really know anything about how much of a phenomenon the whole thing was going to be. So it's kind of gone crazy, hasn't it, worldwide? But it's cool to be a part of, but I haven't seen the second film yet. I should go and see it. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty good. <laughs> Um, you know, I don't, I don't think there's any one specific element of the show that, that's any more important than the other. Um, you know, the important thing for us is obviously, you know, we want people to go away feeling on a high, you know, and feeling like they've enjoyed the show and that it's been the best night of their lives, you know. Um, you know, that, that, that's always the best feeling you can hope for. Um, you know, there's not one particular song where you, you, you want to draw too much attention to because it's all, you know, the set is structured in a way that makes the whole set exciting and, and important. So, you know, obviously the aim of any, any form of entertainment is to, to make people walk away with a smile on their face and, and to, to feel like they've been a part of something and that they've you know, experienced something special. No, I, I think everything, everything from about 1999 onwards has been above our expectations, really. Um, you know, when you first start off in a band, you obviously have ambitions and, you know, you want to go places and you have dreams, you know. Um, but, you know, sometimes those dreams kind of feel like they're unachievable because not many people get to that level, you know. Um, when we used to go and watch bands when we were 15 or 16 years old, they used to play in very, very small clubs and theatres. And that to us was what being a successful big band was all about. So, so just to get to that level would have, would have almost been enough for us, you know. We would have reached the goal. Um, but, you know, I think around the time of, I think particularly around the time of Absolution where we, we started going into arenas and, and we were doing arena tours pretty much, well, pretty much all over Europe at least and other parts of the world. And, and obviously since then it keeps growing and it keeps growing and you know we're playing arenas in places like Korea, you know places that we haven't played that often, you know we're going in and doing these big arenas and, and, and then the places in Europe where we've played for a long time we're now getting to the point where we do stadiums. So you know all of those things are, are kind of way beyond what we ever really expected. You know? um, I don't think any band ever really expects to go on stage in Wembley Stadium you know, because you know the, the, there's a few select big bands that get, get to that level but, but not many bands do. And, you know, when we did Wembley Stadium, we walked on stage, and it was it was very emotional. You know, because 
you know, like I said, it's things that we dreamed about, but I don't think we really ever expected to do anything like that. So, so everything is a bonus, really. Everything, everything that we do is, is is very appreciated, and we never take anything for granted. And and obviously, when the resistance came out, you know, we were told that it was in, you know, number one in 20 countries on iTunes, and and that's a real surprise, you know, because you know a lot of these countries we've not actually played that often, and, and you never really expect things like that to happen. I think so, yeah. I, th I think with every album that we do, even before we start making the music, we, we always talk about where we want to go and the kind of directions that we want to go in. And, and we're not always very clear what those directions are, but we try and take things in, in different directions to where previous albums have gone. And I, I think, you know, there's obviously a lot of common things within the music, you know, within the, the, the kind of chord structures that Matt writes and the kind of melodies that he sings. But you know you can make them very, very different by 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 doing things like you know undisclosed designs. You know, that could have been a rock song, or it could have been electronic, like it is in the album. So I, th I think you know there's there's like a constant within the band that always always remains the same, and that is obviously the the, the kind of style of music that Matt writes. Um, but obviously it's about taking those elements and trying to push them down other avenues, you know, and uh, and not restricting yourself to to one instrument either. You know? I, th I think for the first two or three albums. We, we felt quite restricted by the fact that, you know, I only really played the bass and Don played the drums. Yeah, Matt obviously moved between guitar and piano, but we never really went outside of that. And, and then obviously we started getting involved with synthesizers and drum machines and, and kind of pushing ourselves outside of the comfort zone a little bit. And when you do that, it forces you to do something different, you know. And it forces you to look at your music in a different way. And, uh, and we enjoy that, you know, because it's a challenge for us as players and as musicians. And, and also it creates something that sounds different. 전 세계적으로 유명한 가수가 되셔서 브리티시 락의 대표자라는 그 이미지에 대한 그 느낌이 어떠셨어요? Yeah, that's quite a compliment, I suppose. But uh, there's um, there's there's a few, you know, great. There's lots of great bands in England, and um, and to be part of, you know, some of the best ones feels really, really good. I suppose we kind of definitely represent the more rock side of British music. Um, I think, you know, there are lots of kind of Metal bands and bands that play different genres of music and different styles of rock music. But I suppose for an English band that's been able to leave the UK and travel around the world and play in all these different places around the world, I think we're kind of representing, you know, the uh, great English rock music, you know, which is uh, it's a nice thing to be able to play and, and, uh, and be associated with. We've always liked the fact that we've been a three piece, um, but I around the time we did Absolution, I think that the music was expanding a little bit. And, you know, we had songs like Invincible, where, you know, you had very prominent guitar parts, but you also had this organ going through it as well. So we did get to a point where we realised it was, it was becoming difficult to translate the songs live. So we got a guy called Morgan, who, who plays keys for us live now. Um, I'm not sure if he was with us last I think he was with us last time we played here. Um, and that's definitely made things easier without taking away from the fact that we are still a three piece. Because I think that the, the energy of the band still comes from the, the chemistry between the three of us. And, um, and obviously having Morgan there, it, it's like just having somebody to help out with the bits that are on the album that we can't play. Um, but uh, you know, there's still a fair bit of a set where Morgan isn't on stage, so you know, we still re retain that kind of cool three-piece kind of sound. But I think you know, just the, the, the way we enjoy playing on stage as well, I think that really helps to create the energy. because. You know, we love being on stage and we love seeing people jump up and down and that makes you go for it, you know. It makes you play harder and louder and, and it all kind of contributes, you know. I, I think when you enjoy playing live, it's very, it's very easy to have those high energy levels. If you don't enjoy playing live, then, you yeah. know, and you just stand there, it's very difficult, you know. But, but we love it, you know, we love being on stage. Um, you know, it's uh, obviously a pleasure to be back here. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who's, who's been to our concerts in the past, everyone that's um, bought the records. Um, obviously we hope everyone enjoys the show tonight and uh, hopefully we'll be back sometime soon. Um, I just want to say hello, enjoy <laughs> yourselves at the concert, it's great to be back here in Korea and Seoul um, and we're certainly looking forward to coming back again soon, we definitely will but nice to be here and enjoy yourselves tonight, cheers. Sarangayo! Uh